It's spring here in Australia and the days are finally starting to warm up a little. It's a great time of year to tackle a deeper clean in your home because everything feels so much fresher once it's had a good clean. But we don't want it to feel overwhelming. You don't actually have to spring clean your whole house to freshen it up. Let's make it a little bit easier this year. Focus on one room each week. We have 12 weeks of spring, so with one room each week, we should be able to cover everything. And if you run out of rooms, you can enjoy an early finish. Follow the same simple steps for the basics in each room in the same order. You can use my simple spring clean checklist as a guide if you like. I will leave a link below for you. The basic concept is to start high and clean top to bottom. In each room, I start by dusting the ceilings to remove cobwebs, then ceiling fans if we have them in that room, and then we do tops of cupboards and windows. Dust with a good quality feather duster and then give it all a once over with a hot soapy cloth if needed and let it air dry. Next, give your counters and tabletops a quick spray and wipe and then finish up with the floor, which will be pretty dusty by now. So you sweep or you mop or you vacuum. Done. If you want to do more, choose one space in each room that needs a little bit of extra care and work on that. People think spring cleaning means every single surface has to be completely taken care of and that's where the overwhelm comes in. Honestly, your house isn't that dirty. The spring clean steps we talked about already, that takes care of the accumulated dust in the areas that we don't have time to check in our day-to-day -day life. The rest we tend to clean as we go throughout the years, so nothing really gets much chance to build up. But if you do want to do more than the basics, there is a section on the checklist for this too. In each room, there's a list of areas you can focus on if you want to, and you just choose one or two or three if you want that need a little more care in your house. You do those, and at that point, then you decide, you know, is there anywhere else that needs taken care of as well, and do you have the time and energy to actually do it? For example, in the kitchen, the checklist includes fridge, freezer, pantry, microwave, oven, dishwasher, cupboards, and floors. In my house, by springtime, the oven could do with a really good clean, the dishwasher might need a once over, and the floors could do with a good scrub around the oven area. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. This year, I will outsource the oven clean. I have an easy step-by-step -step process to follow that I found online for the dishwasher. I'll leave you a link for that one. And I'll just pick up one of those dishwashing wands from Coles or Audi where you put the dishwashing liquid in the handle and you've got the scourer. Um, and that's how I can do the uh, set in marks on the floor tiles really, really easily. I hope you found these ideas helpful. And if you're ready to go a little bit deeper in your spring clean, then you might want to check out my simple spring clean mini course where I walk you through it and share a few extra tips and hacks that make spring cleaning easier. You can check it out at the link below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I just want the camera. Okay, that whole time all I could think of was something weird going on here. Bye.